Hello, Barry at gotaukulele.com with another instrument review. Uh, Reorganised the office because I've moved the office out of the house. Um, thank goodness. And so now I've got a music room again. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a lucky, lucky boy. I uh, get quite a few instruments on loan. Um, and there are some that you just open the box of and go, wow. Um, this is the Pono. ATDC tenor ukulele made from all solid acacia and it is quite the looker. I mean, you know, <laughs> Pono, uh, the Asian line of the Koalao um, ukulele company from Hawaii, so made in the Far East but under control of the Hawaiian brand, one of the K brands. Um, they've never let me down yet, Pono. Uh, I wonder if the same can be said about this one. Fairly standard uh, tenor shaped ukulele with a flat bass, uh, but with the cutaway. The A stands for acacia, the T for tenor, the D for the fact it's the deluxe model, so it's finished in this gloss, and the C for the cutaway for high fret access. Uh, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's a nice shape. Look at the flame, <laughs> look at the stripe. Oh, that is something special, I think. So, book, nicely bookmatched on the top with this sort of fan striping um, coming down away from the sound hole like that. Um, some curl in the acacia there on the sides. And the back nicely bookmatched to match the front with the same flame and the same diagonal stripe. Uh, even the stripe on the base fits perfectly. Very slight arch to the back and it's finished in a mirror finish gloss. Um, that really is flawless. There is no pooling, no bubbles, no scratches, no dimples, nothing at all. It's absolutely spot on. The tie bar bridge is made of ebony with a bone saddle. Looking inside, all really neat and tidy. Uh, delicate bracing, delicate curving, no glue spots. And uh, if you look inside, I'm not going to be able to show you this. Oh, I can. There we are. That there, that little notch. This little hole at the end of the neck is a truss rod adjustment bolt. I'll come on to that in a moment. Um, so there's your body. Nice depth to the body. Um, mahogany neck in about four pieces. We've got a joint here and a stacked heel. Capped with stripy acacia here. Um, finished with an ebony fretboard 20 nickel silver frets with 14 up to the body but of course that cut away giving you access to far more uh, we've got perloid position markers at the 5th 7th 10th 12th and 15th thankfully they are repeated on the side the uh the truss rod um, that is basically a threaded bolt that runs through the length of the neck you don't see it a lot on ukuleles you see it on guitars and it's there not to adjust the action, as people wrongly say. It's to adjust the curvature of the neck over time. A good setup neck should have a very, very slight relief, they call it, which is a, a, a concave curve in the neck. Very, very slight. Um, helps stop buzzing, improve playability, that kind of thing. Uh, bone nut, nicely set up. Intonation uh, actions at both ends are perfect for me. Fairly standard Pono shaped headstock there with uh, the acacia facing and the Pono logo in pearl. And really nice to see Grover open gear tuners as you'll see on Canalea and Martin Tenor ukuleles. Really good quality. They're in gold with black buttons. And the whole thing is finished with Koalau strings, which I don't like. Particularly don't like the fact that this has got a wound C string. But regular viewers of my videos and readers of my reviews will know that I don't mark down scores on ukuleles because of the strings they come with. For the simple reason that 99% of people will change the strings at some point, if not immediately. As I would if this was mine. And what's that going to set you back? That's going to cost you just under 500 quid in the UK. And about uh, $650, $699 RRP in the US. So a serious price. But still a mid-level instrument. This is, uh, if this was made from Hawaiian koa, um, and a word about that, acacia is a type of koa. Unscrupulous dealers who refer to their instruments as koa when they're made from acacia koa are misleading you. Pono are not doing that. They're saying it's acacia, which is what it is. If it was made from Hawaiian koa, it would cost twice the price. 
so it is kind of mid-level um i know some of you will choke at that but then some of you think that 100 pounds for a ukulele is mid-level it isn't um I, as you can tell i really really rather like this instrument looks wise and build quality it's flawless um pono you have not let me down on that front it would mean nothing if it didn't play very well it's nicely balanced really nicely balanced at the 12th it just sits there it's fantastic it's not heavy it's comfortable to hold sound wise it's it really surprised me it's got a nice mix uh, of sounds uh it's chimey but it's warm um so it's not got the punch of a straight up mahogany ukulele like some of their others that i've reviewed uh, but it's got a, a ring to it um, that's probably more reminiscent of a smaller bodied instrument. So you've got the warmth and sustain and resonance of the big body with a kind of chime if you listen to it. sublime because it's got that sustain trying to downgrade my ukulele collection and get rid of instruments reclaim some space in the house i really want this <laughs> i really want it look at it i think it is stunning to look at the sound has really sold it to me uh it shimmers i love it absolutely love it this has now gone on to get one of the highest scores uh for instruments on the got a ukulele website as i say i've never played a bad pono this one doesn't buck the trend I think Pono, I will stick my neck out and say Pono are now my, are my favourite brand. Um, okay, they're not Ultimate High End, they're not K Brands, they're not Kamaka, they're not Kanalea. But they, they sit in this middle range and the balance between price and playability and sound I think is absolutely spot on. The, the quality control is always excellent and I don't think actually that's a lot of money for a good quality ukulele and certainly not one that looks so shimmery and beautiful pono atdc tenor ukulele highly highly recommended well done pono uh 